And uh, this is the Asmo food deck that uh, topated the challenge last uh, weekend when I was uh, when I was away, so I couldn't re properly react to it. But it's definitely a deck that deserved some uh, some interest, as uh, it's really a deck that just people love. People love to uh, go uh, turn one underworld cookbook, start making uh, start making over cheese daredevil. You have. Asmoranum Arcadica Dice Near Kuldahar, which is your way to get a second cookbook to start gunning creatures down. And that's that's a very powerful synergy, the one between cookbook and over chase daredevil, and of course Asmo. You also have some side uh, card advantage engines like Emery. You have Academy Manufacture, that whenever you make a food with the cookbook, you're gonna also make a treasure and a clue. And uh, Academy Manufacture plus Time Sieve can create infinite turns, as if you have two cookbook and a manufacturer and all which is their devil, you get infinite turns. That sounds hard to do, but it's actually not that hard. Goblin Engineer is the card that uh, this player splashed. It's a 2 mana 1-2 that when it comes to play, you entomb an artifact. And then for 1 and a red, you can switch artifacts. So you can switch, for example, you know, a treasure or a food, and you can get back whatever you want, whether it is a time seed that you just chucked, or an Akane Manufacturer, or Mishra's Bubble, to do the same card advantage as Emery does, you just draw a lot of cards in the same turn. You have Ledger Shredder in the mix, with Bubbles, Ledger Shredder is always nice. And then you have a little Urza Saga package on Earth as well, on Earth uh, is also another way to play the Asmo, because cycling means discarding, so you can cast your Asmo. Then Gigante the Companion as well. There's a, new, there's a card that I don't often see it. That's Gear Up or Ether Grid. Very interesting card. I am excited to try this card. This card uh, it used to be uh, it used to be a Cyber Major in uh, Where Prison, I remember. Playing this card that that matchup. That was good. And yep, that's that's it. Uh, the rest of Cyber is mostly just, just strong cards. I'm pretty excited to try this deck. It's always fun. I remember playing the I believe it was the mirror. I bought this deck in paper. I played it. I played it once in a paper event. The Demir Asmo deck. Not a bad deck. And uh, this version is also splashing on the engineer. Modern mana bases are kind of free to splash. Like you already have your fetches and things like that so we just added a steam vents and the blood crypt over here and you're able to play flashing five cards also steam vents can also cast osmo so because osmo you can cast you can it's an hybrid card mox amber your legends are only osmo and emery so it's not that many legends <laughs> Libolik, thank you for the second month of sub. I appreciate the support. Gira, how long? How's it going, Gira? Are you still on vacation or have you returned? Buongiorno, buongiorno, everyone. Alright, here I am just gonna get a Blood Crypt. And passing the turn. You still at work? Oh, you're gonna go to vacation later? Oh, sorry, sorry, I misunderstood then. Hello, Trent does things. Thank you for the follow. Oh, we're playing against Mill. Honestly, that was the other deck that I wanted to be playing, the Mill deck. Because uh, Mill is um, top eight, top four, the last challenge. All right. Uh, well, my opponent can mill me thirteen, but I mean, I have to fetch anyway, so might as well do it now. Yep. So you mill thirteen of mine. I milled an Overchase Daredevil, two Overchase Daredevil, so those are gonna go back to hand as soon as I play a Mox Amber. Okay, now the question is, uh, what do I do here? 
So I can go Ledger, Shredder, Mox, Amber, Loot. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. What else can I do? I can just go Goblin Engineer and next turn do the things. Hmm. Maybe that is better. Just going Goblin Engineer. Because then with Goblin Engineer, I can uh, maybe do some fun stuff. Hmm. At the same time, the, yeah, and then maybe I keep a Ledger Shredder to trigger the Asmo. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Will I fetch? No, I don't think I want to fetch. I don't want to remove more cards from my deck. So I'm just going Goblin Engineer. Put it in the graveyard. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. uh Probably it's just Time Sieve, because I already have the Manufacturer. Yeah, yeah I'm going to put Time Sieve in the graveyard. Now, I'm not going to play Mox Amber because, yeah, sure, it reanimates those, but I want to trigger Ledger Shredder with it, so I'm just passing for now. Do we play Drum? We do not play Drum. That's weird, actually, now that I think about it. Drum is always a very good card, but there's a Saga decks. I love to play, I love to play Drum. Anyway, my deck is halved already. Oh, no, main deck Neil Spellbomb. That is a beating. I've been, I've been. Aha, I wish I played this Mox Amber and got back the Daredevil. Yeah, I, I guess I didn't expect that mean that he is foul bomb. Eh, <laughs> not a cozy. Alright, so what I can do here is Ledger Shredder, Ledger Shredder, Mox Amber, loot, and then play Asmo. <laughs> unfortunately, eh? Unfortunately, but that's what I have to do. I'll discard a fetch land. I can also discard an Asma, I guess. Nah, I'll discard a fetch land. Let me see the deck that top four the, the challenge with Mill. Do they play do they play Neil's Pebble main? Because I honestly have never seen Neil's Pebble main. Some people play the, the surgical, which I hate by the way. You know I'm a hater of surgical. The mirror mill, third place. Yeah, no Neil Spell Bomb. Three lantern in the side. I guess they just cut the surgical for Neo Spell on my opponents, which I love. I mean, okay, and my graveyard is gone. Rip graveyard. And then I loot. I'll discard as uh, sorry, blood stained mire or Asmo. Mm, let's go Blast Amire. Now I'll play Steam Vents and Tapped. I'll play Asmo. Because I discarded a card. And now Mox Amber works. And I can go get uh, the last. Uh, the I can cast a cookbook. Yep. And that's it. End of turn. I might want to. Uh, I really wish I had those four to an end, but then I wouldn't have triggered a shredder. I think like this was the right play. This was hundred percent the right play. Okay, maybe. I mean, I have twenty five cards in my deck. Maybe they mill me the the thing, but maybe it's too late now. Twenty five cards. They can already play Tasha in, in exam my deck. It's turn three. I can die on turn three here. Very powerful. Very powerful card by my opponent. Hmm. All right, I'll uh, make a food here. I need to make a food if I want to kill this crab. Draw. Okay, now I am going to float red and switch. Academy Manufacturer with Mox Amber. Let's see if they have a surgical, I hope not. Honestly, okay, so I, at least I got this. Now I can uh, tap this. Uh, discard a swamp here. I even have Gigantha if I wanna. Yeah. Okay, so the Asmo is gonna kill the crab, uh, sacrificing two foods. 
Unfortunately, the time save has been exiled. I have another one in the deck, though. Okay, so for now, let's just attack. 21 cards in my deck. Hmm. I think I'm going to get back Gigantha and play Cookbook. I have no mana open now. Trying the lock. Sure. Pass. Okay, maybe they just don't have much in end. My clock is low, but I killed them in two turns. I have 21 cards in my deck. Alright, another island. Uh, yeah, I have 21 cards. I have, I have three cards. I put an exiled 18. I even have some fours. <laughs> it's funny, I have 39 cards in exile at the moment. Uh, do I want to make... Do I want to make... Thing. I don't think so. Do I have Time Sieve? I don't. They exiled my Time Sieve as well. Well, I have three cards in my deck, so I just have to attack two turns, I don't think. I don't think I can do much more over here. Yeah, I really don't think I can do much more over here. Do 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 do. Who's that? Vinny Fino, hello, thank you for the third month sub. Thank you for the third month sub. Two, 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 two. Yep, I don't think there's much going on here. I just have to attack and, well, hope my opponent doesn't mill me out next turn. They only, they need very little to kill me. Very little they need. I'm gonna hold both of these cards because if I put in place a crab, I can in response to nah actually. There's no way for me to beat crab plus a land. Alright, fifth land. Fifth land go? Fifth land go? Do they pay five mil me thirteen in upkeep? I guess. Upkeep? No? I survived one more turn. I survived one more turn here. Well, I'm attacking. I have one card in my deck, so even if when it kills a creature of mine, I don't die next turn. I have one card in my deck. They have three cards in hand. No, it have something? It's a drown in the lock? It's a drown in the lock. Eh. Heh. And unfortunately, now they go to three. Yeah, no. <laughs> they go to three, so I can't even kill them next turn because I have one card in the deck. I can't cast this Gigantha. I could never cast this Gigantha. Yeah, I'll just pass and. Yeah, I mean, they fetch. <laughs> Fun game first. I mean, opponent obviously. That did you so little, to be honest. <laughs> Draw. No, if only this was. No, if this was a second last, I think I would have won. There's no way for me. I could connive and discard a spell, but... Yeah... I'm gonna kill myself with honor. 
dying to my own ledger shredder. But this is three damage! Alright, good game, good game. Good game, opponent, well played. Bean the bean the bean, and now. So the lantern doesn't work in my own graveyard, unfortunately. Uh, okay, I guess I'll have Thought Season Push. Maybe even Bone Shards. I think I don't need the Engineer. My opponent's gonna fill my graveyard for me. Fill the graveyard for me. I don't think I even need Needle. Emery's very good. Uh, Unearth is very good. How, is, how about Osmo? Osmo's very good. Okay, let's go. Uh, Academy Ruins. Academy Ruins would have saved me, yeah. Mm, I think I'll keep this hand. It's not fantastic, but I have a push for a crab, a shredder, and then on turn three or four, I'll be able to go here's a saga to get the cookbook to trigger those. It's not an amazing hand, but I think it's all right. And I'll play a push. Very important to kill those. Like, you saw a previous game, I put in, I don't know how much they made with those crabs, but a lot. Okay, they don't have, they don't have archive trap, so that's a good news. And I draw a land, that's also good news. Go. Oh yeah, I often get the the message. I, I should bring it a whole sideboard in against mail. No, you shouldn't. Your mana base is designed to have sixty cards. Okay. All right. So this is over chase their devil. Draw. Come on, a spell. Any spell. No, a spell that's cheap. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna just go shredder top land here. There's no need for me to play him. To make a construct with Saga. This was obviously the risk of keeping this hand because I couldn't trigger the Shredder on turn 3. Osmo has that problem. I said any spell. I know. I was wrong. Okay. Crab. One Daredevil is here. Okay, so the Saga will go get me the, the thing. The thing that's very good. What's... where is it? Don't surgical, eh? What's that? Okay. <laughs> I was like, don't surgical my cookbook. No, they actually did! Aww, okay. They searched on my cookbook. Eh... What do I do? I think I'm just... Because your graveyard doesn't matter. My... Because I'll target player graveyard. Because this one can exalt my own graveyard if they go drown. Which they'll probably never go. Man, what a shit... Nah, I think I gotta got get lucky here. I gotta get lucky here and uh, just draw a card off the bubble. I'm targeting you. I need to draw some spell. Come on. Spell. Thoughtsies. 
Alright, let me read all these guards. As long as you've discarded a card this turn. As long as you have discarded a card this turn. You, it's me. So I can thoughts as myself, in theory. As long as you have discarded a card this turn. It doesn't matter how I've discarded it. Even, even if I thoughts as myself, that works. Alright, so... First, actually, I want to check if I have a land left in my deck, because I didn't pay attention to that. Okay, I did. Uh, whatever, left total doesn't matter in this game. That's Thoughts is myself. Show my full house. The house is full over here. What thoughts is yourself when you have two knives? How do you have two knives? What's the second spell? Alright, so now I can finally cast Asmo. Very weird card. I don't think they've done similar things to this. Okay, so Asmo comes in now. I can do double Knive, which it's mandatory. I can't choose not to. So I get my... I think I have one... Never mind, I don't have any cookbook left. Uh, cause they surgical it. Eh, Bennett, let's attack. Eh, pass. I've pulled my land already. Okay, my opponent is gonna mill a lot of cards. Say 12 18. Yeah, I'm just dead. I'm just dead to anything. Maybe I was supposed to talk to them. But at the same time, I just wanted to have more presence. I got a six cards in my deck. <laughs> Ancestor Recall. And Ancestor Recall. I have to double loot, it's not a choice. <laughs> I don't want Emery, thank you though. I need to crack the bomb if I wanted to play two spell. If I don't play if I don't crack the bomb, there's there's no way I put pressure. Anyway, um unfortunately I don't think I do much. What can this unearth do? What can we target here? Not much. I have three cards in my deck. I'm gonna put a seven cards in end. I can put my shredder up to eight, but that's not good enough. Yeah, I think I've been defeated. I have officially been defeated here. The the surgical on the cookbook was the key play there. Even if I reanimate the manufacturer, there's no way for me to make food. The the cookbook being exiled uh, by a surgical, I think, will do the thing. All right, good game, opponent. Well played. Mill gets it. All right. That's funny how this morning I was deciding which league to play, and I was in doubt between uh, Mill and the uh, Asthma Food. I went for Asthma food in first round, I lose to Mill. Which honestly I haven't played against Mill in months. In okay, round number two against Aridmeza go. Wow. Is that burn? Is that burn? So Cookbook makes food and you know that's cool. Castico. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stand by my plan of, uh, so I'll just pass so I can get a red lane here. Red lane is only tapped, and then I can go Island Swamp. So I don't have to take any damage from my lands, if I play against Burn. Not that many decks play Arid Meza. Good morning, good morning, Kresoro. How's it been? How's it been? Catch your triumph, alright, then it's creativity, it's not burn.
Ren and six. Explore. Still getting my red land. This deck is mostly black hungry, so I'm gonna get I guess that's not necessarily true, but anyway, I'm gonna get Blood Drift. I'm gonna get Island. I think I wanna play Engineer and Chuck. Hmm, what do I wanna chuck? Yeah, I can't already do the thing. Yeah, that deck is good over there. Yeah, that deck is good over there, the creativity deck. They can already <laughs> arc on me. Maybe I get uh, the bomb that bounces. No, but I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because my opponent will... Uh... Yeah, no, I think I just... I have to go for the... For the most valuable play, which is putting Academia Manufacturer in the graveyard. Hopefully, our counter doesn't come. Alright. Like, I mean, the way my opponent pulls the Archon to play is exactly Fetch Land, Dwarven Mine, Creativity, or Transmogrify. Hehe. <laughs> Going to be tough now. Draw. No, no, there's no, there's no way I can compete with what's, what's going on. All right. Oof. Let's bring us some thoughtsies. Well, not much, honestly. I just, I guess I just have to hope my opponent doesn't have the nuts. I just have to hope my opponent doesn't have the nuts. Woo! Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You could have some removal spell to kill the thing that target responds, but pretty slim choices of work, and often they just target their clues, or well, you just have to deploy your own game. Can't really keep up the mana if that happens. I'm just gonna rely on um, on my plan to be fast. Let's go, I'm on the play now. AI after Mulligan again. I will keep this hand. This time I will go turn one cookbook. So, the reason is, but yeah, no, I think I'm bottoming a shredder. Because I don't think I need a second shredder. Goblin Engineer, if I draw a land, Goblin Engineer is cool. If not, I'll just discard the engineer to the cookbook anyway on turn three when I go manufacture. Alright. Wonder why they fetched. Okay. But that's a good draw. I'm gonna go manufacture. Discard a card. And play Asmo.
And this is the spot where, you know, having Gigant that uh, you can discard to your cookbook is a nice addition. Point of seven cards in hand, they can do their thing. Although if I have Asmo around with two foods, they can't target their thing. I'm gonna attack first. Then I'll play Manufacture. Now I can discard a card, make nine tokens, because each of these trigger three times. And then I can sacrifice two, draw a card. I do not need that one, so I just pass here. I have four food, this can, this can also kill the Darkon. Alright. Again, now I'm not afraid of fetch land creativity. I deployed my plan. I'm afraid of Anger of the Gods. There's some people I remember I remember some lists play two Anger of the Gods in the sideboard. Which would obviously be devastating. Although actually I can't rebuild here. Alright, they just pass. They're on fourteen right now. Okay, so I'll take a draw. To land. Okay. I'll once again start by attacking for five, because I mean that's the way I win with this deck. We could draw the IE Time Sieve off my clue, of course. But... Time Sieve here would be lethal. Okay, so I'll begin by drawing a card. Urza's Sagra. I will play it and I'll draw another card. I will discard a card, make a lot of permanence. I think I will then play another Asmo. It will get me another cookbook, discard Saga, and I'll get more permanence. Or I can just sacrifice two treasure to draw a card. What's better? I could keep Asmo in hand as a backup. Yeah, I think I'm better off just drawing a card here. I'll definitely do it now because of Thoughtseize. Another cookbook. Alright, that's cool. So I can play cookbook. And now, once again, this card is Saga, get 9 tokens. Alright, they're casting a spell. Spell Pierce. Oh, wow. Yep. Alright, that resolves. Spell Pierce got me. E I have to pass the turn. I don't have any more play available to me. So if you get one manufacturer, you get three tokens. And if you have two, every each one of these three tokens makes a token. So you get nine tokens. Okay, so still. I'm fine here. I don't win next turn because there are nine, but... They don't bolt this Asmo. That's why I kept another one. Because if they bolt this Asmo, I mean, I guess I have this. Ooh, also, this deck has Shadow Spear. Interesting. I didn't think about that. We also got Shadow Spear from the deck. Not bad. Already fetched. Okay, so they cast Worm in Mine. Steam Vents untapped. They go to six. Still not lethal, unfortunately. Oh, they go creativity on my two permanents. Interesting. So first I'll kill the dwarf. And then I'll let you resolve this. What do I flip? Emery and another Asmo. Oh, they can see the game. Alright, let's go to game three. I'm on the draw though. Do I stand by my subboarding? Uh, 
do 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 but then you can name random six I don't think it's worth it it is too pithing me in the deck that's wild Why does two pithing needle in this deck? I just noticed that. I guess it's for Thatcher and Yogmoth. <laughs> I think I've ever seen two pithing needle in a deck with Urza Saga. Uh, let's go. Yeah, if you have four manufacturer, you get eighty one. Yeah, it's the power of it's the power of three, right? Three, nine, twenty seven, eighty one. You want the gear up or ether grid? The problem is that they can easily target an artifact to make a to make a to make a creature, you know. All right, this end is. You know what? So in order to play Giganta, you have to give up three rate. I mean, every hand here would be amazing with three rate. Like, look at this hand. If I had three rate instead of, you know, any card that isn't Asmo, this hand would be great. I think I'm mulligan in, unfortunately. And this hand is also not good, but what can I do? I mean, I guess I can go to five. Like, if this is a combo deck. And I'm a four. Four, 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 four. Okay, okay. Die, die. Va bene. Die. Let's go. I'm on four cards here. I'm on four cards here. I don't even have black mana. Dio bono. Um, mm, 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 so I can go turn. Allora. If I had black mana, I would have kept. No, I can't. To bottom three cards. Jeez. Three cards I have to bottom. That's so many cards. All right. Da da va bene, va bene, va bene. Yes, Bayen. The the the. Uh, 81 is the answer. Okay, a second ask, exactly what I wanted. Uh, do, 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 do. do I go Saga turn one? What can, what can a Saga get me here? Bo. I think I'll go Saga turn one. Just a nice little all in. Just a nice little all in here. Hopefully you don't have Force of Vigor. Good morning, Matus. How's it going? No, no, opponent don't have force. No, they have force of vigor. That smells like a force of vigor. No, okay, good. Thank you, thank you, Mothus. Explore. Yeah, if they if they have the turn three creativity again, game one and three. That's not much I'm gonna do about it. Did I keep in the the bomb, the ether spell bomb? Yes, I did. Okay. Alright, let's go. Discard Osmo. Let's play Osmo. Actually, I even had a protection against uh, a dwarf. It's, the problem is that my opponent has uh, a problem. My opponent has a clue token, so that will be able to. That will be able to. Get the get the Archon down through my Osmo because they just target their clue token. Hopefully they don't draw creativity. You know, it's only twelve cards. Sometimes you don't draw creativity. You bolt my Osmo. Rip. Ripperoni. Okay. At least that means I'm not dead. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Alright. Raw. Okay. I'm getting Mox Amber because that gives me a mana. Now I'll play the Emery. Hopefully I mill the the four two. I do. Okay, cool. I can play Bubble. I get back the four twos. Do I do anything with my mana? I have one, two. No. Okay, let me see what's your top of the deck. Hope it's not the creativity. It is! 
It is the indomitable creativity. And Pepangu loses. Pepangu loses. When you look at your opponent top card and you see the feet. You see them feet. In my opinion is better this or Esper. I don't have any opinion. You see a picture of the feet. I'm just I'm just giving up. A bit of summer. That point I'm just little lag for a bust, I give up. Good game. It's not I mean they're not slow rolling, they're playing well. They have to attack, so they get two tokens. The penguin loses. Va bene, dai. I think I think it's fine. Starting 0-2, it's okay. We're gonna go in the 0-2 bracket. And uh, from there we're gonna come back to a 3-2. I'll go hit me with a main deck Nihil spell bomb. Uh, my opponent can always be burned. I'm just taking a basic. This deck doesn't need that much color mana. Oh wow, Inkmot Nexus. Is that Hammer? Oh, it's that, uh, that's that deck. Okay, what's it called? Uh, Hardened Skills. Emery! Emery's good! I love Emery. I was going to play Shredder, but I'm gonna play Emery instead. I'm gonna go Swamp Emery here. Sorry, Swamp Cookbook. Island Emery. What did that mail? Pithy Needle. Pithy Needle is not bad. Pithy Needle in that deck, this matchup, very good. Can name Walking Barista, can name Arkma Ravager. And next turn, I can go uh, Flashback Akane Manufacturer with Emery, tap this, get three tokens. And then Time Seed can combo. Right, can it? Probably can, yeah, I have Emery going. I feel good about this game, on the play with a strong start. My opponent uh, might not even have colors. Yeah, because if you start with Inkmoth Nexus, to me, means you don't have that many colors. They, 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 they kept seven, though. That's weird. <sighs> Two mana, instead of Walking Ballista, you're back Walker, Ravager, I mean, they have a... I can easily play colorless, but... Oh, that's totally fine, I don't mind about that. Welding jar. I want to discard a card to make a food. I mean, I could discard Shredder. You know, I think I will because if I draw Osmo, yeah, I don't think I need a Shredder at the moment. And if I draw Osmo, then I I I need a second food. Okay, so what I can do here is Blood Crypt untapped. Emery flashes back Academy Manufacture. Alternatively, I can flash back Pithy Needle and name Arkman Ravager so that I don't die to the Nexus anyway. And then I play Time Sieve and I get ready for the next turn combo. Yeah, that's probably better. Just just staying a little bit safer. So I'll name Arkman Ravager here. Arkbound Ravager. And I play Time Seed. I don't want to sacrifice five artifacts for this, so I'll... Wait a second, can I? I can discard this, I can sacrifice... No, no, no. I can sacrifice five, I, I stay in play with Time Seed, but I have to disc... I have to sacrifice either the cookbook or the Time Seed, so... No, I have to pass here, I can't, I can't do anything. Next turn though, I think I'll win. Yeah, they kept a hand without colors. And the walk, yeah, walking barista is just a one-one. Oh wow, actually, it becomes a three-three now <laughs> because the the second Zabaz legendary can put two counters on the walking barista, and they can shit down my Emery. Ah uh, yeah, that that sucks. He was supposed to name Ballista instead. Yeah, maybe. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright. I go. I don't have the factory in play, unfortunately. Ledger Shredder. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. That's okay. I can play Shredder. Cookbook. Hopefully I mail the 4-2. The that would be nice. The 4-2 gives me a lot of... Yep. E nothing to do again, right? To pass. Opponent can pick up something with Saga. I wonder what's going to be. Spring with Drum, I'm assuming. They can go pure action core, sacrifice an artifact to gain a life. They can sacrifice a book walker. No, but yeah, without Ravager, they can't move. Uh, they can move their their things that freely as they wish. They never sure get drum, right? They did the colors. I don't know. I had the Ozolith, so no drum. Ooh, that's a way they can move counters around, okay. I can put a counter on the Angabuck Walker, and I can sacrifice it to the Version Core. Yeah, exactly. I can move two counters on the Ballista. Yep. And they get two tokens as well. And they gain one life. Okay. So the Ballista comes at three. It still doesn't kill my Shredder. I was planning to bring back the Manufacturer with the Cookbook. Now that they have a second one. But now they have a Walking Ballista that's, that's a three, three. Hmm. Okay, so they attack me here. I think I have to block. Yeah. I'm already on 8. The walking ballista can already be lethal here. I don't want to take damage for free. And, uh, yeah, can't do anything. So on top and draw. Goblin Engineer. Doesn't do anything, unfortunately. I think I'll play it and pass. Right? So I can gain life with the food. Mm. And gain life with the food. Hold on, has a 5-5 five, five walking ballista. Yeah, big regrets on this Pithing Needle naming. Obviously, this is a play that turned out to be not great, but you don't know their hand. Like, they could still have Arkbar Ravager in hand. And... Okay, let's block, because I have to chomp. I have to chomp. I have to jump and I have to hope to draw the um, sacrifice of food. I think so. Yes. I don't think the goblin engineer are particularly good, to be honest. Hmm.
I'm gonna bubble myself. See what's on top. Steam bins. I'm dead again. Not strong performances so far, but I, I really thought this game was ours. Something definitely went wrong in this game. Yeah, I have a, I have a lot of things now. I think I keep on taking out the engineers. They really don't perform well. I mean, maybe in this matchup they're actually fine because my opponent doesn't have removals. Maybe this is probably the only time where I have to keep them. But I really don't believe in them. Does they make you we even weaker to Graveyard Age? Nither's spell was fine. I probably shave it on Earth. Good morning, Tulbo Dunk. I want to win a match before switching to Era Wars, which is the sponsor of the stream today. Thought sees. Hello, hello, good morning, everyone. All right, let's go on the play. Yes, yes. On Earth is so clunky sometimes in this deck. It is the first time that I have the combo, though. It's also the first one of the, the many times that I won't learn, though. Oh, no, you like a cat, so much, All right. I like this end. Right? Yes, I like it. Done. Let's go. Okay, so what I do here is Swamp Cookbook. Swamp Cookbook. Do I want to go for Saga first? No. I'll go Swamp Cookbook. Your turn. Have I played Cogate versions of Gate Team Popper? Yes. Go to YouTube, write Andra Mangucci, press subscribe, and don't miss every video that goes out every day. Among which, there's Cogate, just a few days ago. Okay, so finally we did the combo. It only took, like, six games, but we did a cookbook Chase Daredevil combo. Very good. Okay. I'll do this again. Get back to hand. And cast Asmo. Yes. Get cookbook. Play it, why not? And this is finally a good curve, finally a good deck. Obviously, you know, the fact that it's not as consistent makes it like not as good as the other decks. But sometimes you can have this start and your opponent just feels like they can't do anything. Like now every creatures of theirs will die. Because every turn I can make two food for free. Tapping the two cookbooks, getting the two chairs daredevil. There definitely should be a drum in my opinion. Okay, you just play on top, land and pass. 
was gonna say always yes, always yield. All right, let's see if I draw land. I do, very good. Very, very good. Let's go to Steam Vents. Let's get the manufacturer. I can already do infinite turns, I think. Turn three infinite turns. I was a point I can have things. The position by manufacturer. It's all right. So I'll discard a time sieve. Let me think about this one second. What can Urza Saga get me? I don't think I want to discard a time sieve. Right? So if I discard a time sieve, I get. I get some things. Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. How much value do I make? I make a lot of value. Very much value. I get a land now and I can crack it immediately. Draw a card. Basic land? Sure. Make another food. Now I can tap two to draw a card. Don't need to do it now, I just pass for now. I got a clue and a treasure, so that's a free card that I got. Sure, you know, this card time sieve it sucks, but without the ability to manufacture, you just don't do anything with the time sieve. I mean, you can get an extra turn, but I have to crack all my food. I need food. Because my opponent is playing a creature based deck, so I, lo I love to have food for my Asmo. Yeah, and they go just land go, because I can't do anything. I have Asmo and a lot of food. Draw a card. Unearth. Great. Untap draw. Unearth. Uh doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just what tapping this. I don't want to make a construct. I think I do want to make a construct. It's gonna be super large. Very large. What do I get? Oh, I can get Pithing Needle and name your Urza Saga. I think I like that. What else should I do? Maybe I should just go Cookbook instead. Yeah. Yeah, let's just... Let's go Cookbook instead. Now I go on Earth on the Manufacturer. And now I have, like, so much value. Trigger. Always yes, always yes, always yes. Sorry. Yes. 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 So, uh, I'll do it again, I think. Because I want to draw a card. Oh, come on. Alright, good. And now I can draw a card. Off a clue. Shenanigans. Alright, doesn't do anything at the moment. Attack and pass. This is turn 4, pretty fun. Again, when this deck does its things well, it's it's very fun. It really explodes. All right, you got a one one. I'm not I'm not worrying. I have my seven food tokens that could become eight. I make more value of my cookbook. I think I'm also going to destroy the construct before they get the needle of the saga.
And then I go Osmo kill this. All right, show me what you get. Then again, there were a lot of ways to play this game. I don't, I don't think my position is bad at all. So I'm pretty happy with how I played. All right, pithy needle. Okay. What do you name Osmo? Yes. Okay. So Osmo cannot kill creatures anymore. It's named by the needle. Draw. Ooh, very good. Man, I have a lot of things now going on for me. Actually, though, do I want to get even more mana by unearthing the manufacturer? Hmm. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's slightly, it's slightly more mana. So I'm going to discard it. No, no, no. Sorry, it's not more mana. Let's play manufacture, and let's do the thing now. Allora, always yes. Sorry, I just need to make sure. Okay. Always yield. Okay. I need to make sure it doesn't ask me yes all the time. And now we are going to. We're going to start by shenanigansing. Actually, let's just go off with all the tokens first. I want to have all the tokens in play first. Why not, right? Come on, why do you. Why do you ask me now? That'd be automatic, please. Nice. Hey, let's do it again. Every time is nine token. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, so now what I do is I shenanigans the Arkmar Ravager. I got a 40-40. <laughs> Funny. Hey, you want to regenerate it. Okay. Now I crack a clue token. Draw a card. Shenanigans. And I shenanigans the pithing needle, I guess. What should I shenanigans? The pithing needle or the ravager first? I guess ravager first. Nah, I think pithing needle is better. But shenanigans the pithing needle. All right, good game. This is my first, like, actual game win that I'm proud of. Like, a game win that I'm like, nice. Nice. Sweet deck. You know? It arrived a little bit late, but nonetheless, it arrived. I'm happy with that. Hopefully, hopefully, this is the, the change of the tide. Hey, it's Mulligan. Uh, Vabin, did that? This sounds good. This sounds good. I can turn one Emery. Can I? No, that's not true. Never mind. It's still a good end, though. I think I'm bottoming times to you as always. 
That's, I don't know, feels like a win more to me, but let's continue. You, we got six card each. You start with a Bozeju and an Artist Skills. Eh, that's, that's a strong card. Uh, I go Cookbook. I wonder if I should go Bubble. Yes, because I might draw the 4-2 the and then I discard it end of turn. I'm not gonna make a food end of turn. Zogman Ravager used to be War Magic Cup promo. I don't know which year, but I remember. Uh, Vabine, let's draw. Urza's Saga. Hmm. I think I wanna do the following. I wanna tap this card. Then I want to play Emery for one mana. And I want to mill a creature that I can unearth. That's the plan. And nice, I do. Okay. So I can go unearth on Asmo. And pass. Now I wish I tapped the cookbook in my opponent's turn. That would be so good if I did. It would be so good if I did. See, this is the mistakes that makes you lose the game. Because imagine if I had tapped the cookbook in my opponent's turn. I could have now tapped it again, and I could have already shoot this. Counters are lost. Whereas now I can easily lose to the, the Nexus plus Ravager plus Arden skills. Like, I can easily die this turn. Like, the punch of not discarding end of turn cost me the game. I'm pretty sure about that. So you see me, you'll go, oh, Mangu went 0 3. Yeah. That doesn't mean that the deck is a 0-3 deck. I mean, it's definitely not a 3-0 deck, but it also like requires uh, a lot of experience, which since I change deck every single day, it's pretty hard to... I mean, I try to be as expert as I can, but I don't think... Alright, at least I'm not dead. My opponent doesn't have the hand to kill me, thankfully. Yeah, but boy, I'll take two, don't worry. Oh wow, they just passed. That's so nice. Oh, bella mango castle. Die, die, die. I, th I think we got this. I think we got this now. Uh, okay, let's begin with the uh, Urza Saga cookbook. Okay, let's also do the Emery Fleshing Back Ether Spell Bees. And now I can even attack with the Asmo. And now I have both the Bounce Spell and the 6 damage from Osmo. And this is turn 3, again, the deck is performing well this, this two games. Strong deck this two games. Opponent stumbled last turn, I don't know what they have, but probably not much. Mm-hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm-hmm. You can read the Osmo card onto my face. It has a lot of text. The sacrifice to food, you make deal six damage to itself. Sorry, target creature deals damage to itself. Okay, so they're attacking my Ravager. I don't move. I just take two and then end of turn I shoot it. I'll uh, do it again. And then I shoot. Settle the settle is yes. 
All right, now I shoot. Six damage to itself. Hello, O9. You go to Croatia in December? That's a strange time to go to Croatia. Okay, you regenerate, it's all right. Six damage to itself. Happened. Regeneration shield. All right. Now I go. Second turn. Osmo again. Okay. Uh, let me attack with Osmo. Uh, we'll simply just put back the bubble. I'll bubble myself. Then I can see if I should fetch or not now. Okay, I'm not fetching. Uh, that's it, I'm gonna pass the turn. Not moving, no need to. No need to move. Yep. Now, I once again, I'm just gonna take the damage and then end of turn do things because it's always scary to do things in combat. Like, it's probably not nothing bad's gonna happen, but things can go out of hand. All right. So what I do here is. Uh, just just make the token for free. This is literally free. Hello, real gold player. Yeah, this is going great. I've started winning some games with this deck, so that's that's cool. Uh, yes. And now I want to shoot the Ravager. Sacrificing two foods. See what they do about this. Do I go in Croatia soon? No. It's gonna be next year. Okay, so they activate the Nexus. Hey, they put counters over there. Uh huh. I'm gonna bounce the Nexus. I'm gonna bounce the Nexus with the bomb. Because I can bring back the bomb with Emery. On top and draw. I'm not going to make another token, so I just tutor up. So let me tutor up. I'm going to get a Pithy Neal naming Urza Saga. Hey, what do I do? Well, I will play Akane Manufacture. I will uh, flash back the bomb. Attack for a lot of damage. And win the game. Alright. Questi sono dieci. So I can discard this. There will be three more. All right, good game. Good game, chat. We have a a first match win. That's exciting. First of the many. First of the many. Okay, round number four with our companion Giganta. And our medium size and... Not gonna mulligan. I believe that if I manage to cast this Osmo, I will then have the Osmo plus Chase Daredevil combo. Sorry, Cookbook plus Chase Daredevil combo. Alright, let's see what opponent deck is on. Hopefully no turn one Ragavan. By the way, did you see how much Ragavan dropped on Magic Online? It's 30 ticks. 3-0. I never expected it to be this low. Okay, I don't have any play available. 
I mean, I get, I get this card of hand size, but I don't think it's a smart play. Siemens and Tap, that's probably Blue Red Merc tied. But at least they don't have Ragman. And very few lists play Chandler, so that makes their deck way slower. That's good news. This deck has obviously a very good late game. With all the um, synergies. Oh, it's not Merktide. Opt? I guess that's what, Blue Moon? It's probably Blue Moon. Hmm. Do I want to get Island to play around Blood Moon next turn? Instead of a steam vents. Yeah, I think so. Island Swamp Ledger Shredder. And then you can bolt it, that's alright. Not 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 a big deal. They said cool lands. I wonder I wonder if they were planning on going Island Blood Moon this turn. No mountain. It's not Blood Moon. What does he mean cool lands? Anyway, uh we got Baral. Baral is in play. Alright, draw. Hmm. They just like the inch basics. All right, cool. I mean, they're basically free on Magic Online. Uh, cause of Faccio, because it's not like they have many options available to me. I'm probably die next turn if I had the option to go Osmo this turn. I think this deck misses straight rate. Like straight. How often I had Osmo in play and couldn't cast it. I really would love straight rate. I'll just set up this play and just get ready to lose next turn. Oh, Remand? Hmm. Okay. Okay, I pass. Kowalski. How do I do? Doing well, I'm doing well. I won my first match, but this one I don't look very good. I think my opponent can easily kill me on turn four with Storm. Ugh. <sighs> If I had to make changes to the deck, I would probably cut the Engineers 3 for, for, for straight rate. Maybe you don't need the Needle Main, you just put a 4 straight rate here. Yeah, I don't know. And I hate the Time Seal as well. I've never seen this art before. Yeah, you give up the Giganta, but I mean. What's my honest opinion on New Brand as a deck? It's a deck. It's not a good deck, but. Some people love to play, you know, these type of decks. That's alright. No opinions on it. If they put two cards in the graveyard, right? Yeah, I'll do it. Woo! Five gifted sub. Thank you, Kowalski. I 
and you gifted five subs to five names that I recognize. That's pretty cool. Love it. Thank you, thank you for the support. All right. Do they have the past in flames in end? Probably they do. Turu tu, turu tu. I think a passing flames, I just give up. Ganked. There it is. Alright, alright, I'll just give up here. My opponent's way of winning is just to replay the ritual and. I don't know, they have way too much mana. Again, Baral unchecked will win the game. Alright, good game, good game, good game. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dumping Sphere, look at that. We have the anti storm tool. Okay. Uh, to do to do. Do I want bone shards? I think so. Just raising up the amount of, um, just raising up the amount of anti. Yeah. Alright, let's go on the play. Gigantic. It's a keep. I'll go turn one saga. So that I'll be able to get a his pet bomb soon. Turn two shredder. Turn three. I don't know, we'll see. I can also get the cookbook if I decide so. You can't stand storm. No? Just play Blue Merc died, you'll stand it probably. Serum visions, okay. So if I would, if I would cut, do I still keep the red cards in the side? I don't know. The upper ether grade seems a little bit too slow. I think that the. The great thing of modern, right, is that you can just play, you know, Storm, Tron, this deck, which are like fine deck, perfectly fine in the magic game that sometimes give you the nut draw and that makes you dream, you know? I think it's cool. Not afraid of Bloodman anymore. Is that a Baral? Yep. Okay. Goblin Electromanzo. Draw. Fatal Bush, that's a good draw. What do I get here? What if I get the... Yes, yes, I'm getting the... Cook, cook. This card, a card. Get a food. Play Asma. Get a cookbook. Discard a card. Kill Electromanza. Or... Yeah, and I think I want to leave Fatal Push-Up. Yeah, I want to leave uh, next turn, Fatal Push-Up. I'll play Asmo. Also, loot of the Shredder this way. You just be Blue and Merc, that's sweet. You check my... You can check on my YouTube video so many contents about Blue Red Merc that every Sunday there's a Blue Red Merc that video. That's probably more content that one can ever consume, honestly. Let's see if I, if I draw the 4 2. I draw Thoughtseize. That's, that's even better than a 4 2. Yeah, I think I'm actually discarding Saga now. And I'll go Thoughtseize. Yeah. So here I'll discard Saga, Swamp Thoughts is, and then I keep a push. I 
I'll go Blood Crypt because I have a couple of Goblin Engineer. I think Goblin Engineer are fine in this matchup because they don't have removals. But like the thing with Goblin Engineer, it's that if it's unchecked, it's like an Emery. But slightly better because you put it into play manufacturer immediately. But it costs two mana and you just splash a collar. I think it's too much. No, I don't want to push first. I want to Osmo first. I don't want to just push. I'll kill the engineer with an Osmo. Thought threat, yes. I'll go thought seize. Thank you for the raid to Gumanoob. I appreciate the support. Okay. Mm. I think so. Passive ones just cost one mana. It's not a big deal. Engineer is better than Emery? Mm, no. I just get opt. Yeah. And then I kill this. And then I attack and pass. Alright, this was a nice nice turn. When is the Martin Degrees Fang video coming out today? On YouTube today. Went 4 1 with it. Very good deck. The only the only loss I actually punted. So very, very strong list, I think. So you said Emery was better, you misheard me. Uh, well, Emery, the problem with Emery is that <laughs> sometimes, let me draw a second one. Sometimes your graver is empty, you know, whereas Engineer never misses if you're on top of it. Anyway, uh, let's draw. More pushy pushy. I guess now I wish I kept Saga over a push. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. But it's okay. I mean, I have a clock. I could have kept Saga over push. Hmm. Maybe. What's a relatively cheap and secondary deck that I would love to... That I recommend to build a modern? Well, I always recommend to build Affinity to every newcomer to modern. I think Affinity is very good. And it's basically all commons plus four is a Saga. I'm about to write a deep dive on Affinity. I really believe it's a good deck. You can check my last video a few, few days ago. I mean, I think I went 4-1 and yeah, it's, it's definitely the best cheap deck. You could say Burn, it's that, but I really don't want to recommend Burn to people. I think it's not very fun and fun should be the top priority when playing a game. Uh, here I am just Attacking and passing. I can't cast this card, unfortunately. You Soltai Infect. Never seen Infect. In many, 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 many months. Blade, but... How important is Shadow Spear and Affinity? Very important. Unfortunately, that is 20 euro you have to spend if you want to build that deck. This deck cut it, but the reason is that you don't really make Construct with this deck very often. But with the Affinity, it's your A plan, making Affinity Construct. Like, the, the only strength of Affinity is honestly, there is a Saga and Cranium Plating. So, Shadow Spear is very important. This deck used to play Shadow Spear. I think it's a totally fine cut. It's one of those cards that you draw it and you feel so bad about it. Opponent has a rare ritual and a past in flames. I mean, without in a thing in play that 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 ramps them mana, they, they can't do anything. Maybe they can go empty the warrens. My hand is good too, because I have two push. <sighs> Hello. Opponente is deep in the thing. Yeah, cigarette, you did. 
You're the first one to hit level 10 of Hero Wars. Thank you so much. Yeah, later after this 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 league, maybe this match because it's lasting a lot. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play that game on stream. It's a mobile game that's also a um, has a web version. Web, a Hero Wars opponent. See, this is why Magic Online isn't a video game. Uh, you know, because you can just sit there and think for five minutes. Not, not a video game, Magic Online. Not a video game. A video game, you just click buttons. You just click buttons. Alright. You need to put on the browser version? Yeah, for sure it should count. Our opponent plays a second variety ritual, and I loot. On Earth, oh, that's cool. All right, they got four mana. They got five mana. I got six mana. I'm on 13. I hope they don't exactly kill me with uh, grape shots. They got storm count five. What's called foul trap push when it's a kick? Well, isn't a kick also a push? Does push only mean. Uh, Hands. Opponent after thinking and casting all their ritual is now rethinking all their options. Okay, they restart now. Piratic ritual. That deck is a very, very tough deck. I remember making a video with that deck. Honestly, one of my most successful videos with Storm. So hard. Nine. They need three more spells to kill me. And they have them. They can just re- Oh, they make a wish. They have no cards in hand. Oh yeah, they can just go- Wait. They should have played opt opt and then grape shot. I mean, I guess they don't have grape shot in the sideboard. I mean, even empty the warrants here will win. Even Empty the Warrens here will win, probably. No, vabbè, come Flame Slash. Ma che cazzo, Pony, you thought for so long and then you play Flame Slash. Ma no, dai, non ci credo. No, vabbè, troppo triste. Sorry, not sorry. Let's go. That's how we. That's that's how you win, chat. That's how you win. Getting the one-two bracket, and I hope that your opponent messes up so you take the W. Win! Um, Asma is definitely a lady. Little? Yeah, maybe. Asma, how do my Kadi Kadesh are cool the car? I, I know the full name. I remember, I remember when this car came out, I studied the name actually. You know, uh, so last week I was in, I was in Ida with two friends and we would just, uh, Freestyle a lot of rapping. I think I'm good at freestyling a lot of rap. Just making just making songs up with the situation. Did you also watch the Ristic Studio video on it? Nope. I did not, I'm sorry. 
Oh yeah, I saw the the Remy MTG Remy video. Yeah, 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 for sure. MTG Remy video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that came out a lot, a lot later. La bene, die, good hand. Let's go. Are we about some? Are we about to hear some manga rap? No. I only delivered the magic content. I think it's the food content. Oh, yesterday, chat, we ate. We had, it was the the birthday of my niece, and the uh, the, the grandma made uh, duck, uh, grilled duck. And I know that duck is a common thing if you go to a Chinese restaurant. But honestly, I can't remember last time I ate duck. A lot of chicken and, you know, meat in general, but duck, very rare. Uh, let me just go for my thoughts easier. Thought sees do I go watery grave? Yeah, so the next thing I can go. Or is the saga cookbook Emery? Alright, see some thoughts over here. Seizing thoughts. Next thing I go, so I don't play bubble. Cause next hello oh Electromanzo, via via. Via Electromanzo, via. Go. Repel. Steam vents untapped. The thoughts is bug? No. Okay. Good. I was afraid of the thoughts is bug. Good thing that the thoughts is bug only happens sometimes. All right. It's just cycled. I appreciate that. Can I go? Can Can you pass? Opponent, can I play magic? I know you want to take all the timer, but can I can I can I go? You know when you were a kid and you would just ask your opponent always, can I go? I'm sure somebody still do it. It's so annoying. You just there thinking and you point and go, can I go? No, porca merda, you can't go. Alright. Draw. Hot on push. Hmm, not bad. Uh let's go. Urza Saga Cookbook Makes them play worse? Oh, you're a strategy. You're a strategy guy. You'll go very far away with that strategy, Cristiano. You know, once I was playing, well, Italian cards in an American tournament. Can't remember if it was the Eternal Weekend or the... or some SCG. And I had, you know, Italian cards. And a person goes, oh yeah, you're playing Italian cards so that your opponent can't read your cards. That's smart. And I'm like, yes, that is exactly why I play Italian cards. You got me. Hey, let me crack this bubble now because if I draw the 4-2, I can discard, blah, 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 blah. And also that's a problem of Emery, you see? A second Emery is bad. A second uh, Goblin Engineer isn't bad. Oh, yeah. Okay, my opponent passes. Do I want to make a food? Yeah, I'm not gonna punt. I'm not gonna make the same punt as I did earlier. I think I'm gonna make a food this time. Scarding Emery. Draw. Ledger. Shredder. A, I am going to fetch up a basic, cast the manufacturer, pass. Yeah, yeah, that's the goal, that's the goal. 
you're Spanish and you have French and German cards. I, I mean, back in the days, I also did that because they're cheaper. Now I always try to get only Italian or English cards. Just because sometimes it happens that I have to read my own cards. Especially since I change deck every time. Thank you, Eptagon! Thank you so much, Eptagon. The ninth month. It's a long time. Why didn't they just print Affinity on Emery? Affinity is a keyword that only happens when it's like the keyword of a set. It's like why opt, why consider doesn't have surveil. It's a mechanic on sets. Thank you, thank you, Eptagon. I appreciate the support. Uh, yeah, you can go now. I can discard this like steam bands, make 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 three things, and then push your creature if you have a creature that is worth pushing. Because what's it does whatever they want. It's a very it's a very proper answer as well. Uh, do I discard the Shredder? Yeah, goodbye Shredder. Didn't Tezzeret Master Bridge? I don't know what that card is. Yotone! We got the treasure to push. Because very, very often that deck just goes... Electromancer and then goes off. So having one mana to push in their turn, it's strong. Strong. I think I'm gonna make a Saga Construct. I don't have much to do with my mana anyway. I'll also get the bomb, the Nihil spell bomb. I will also play Steam Vents and play Cookbook. Attack. And I guess I can also cast a bubble. And I'll bubble you. The next turn should be good to win. I hope. Mm -hmm. Pass. Draw. Does resting Pepega stop indomitable creativity? It does not. Resting Pepega doesn't really stop very much these days. A, my construct can become very large now. Ma proprio tanto large. Like so large. Tur 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 Slowly getting back, man. This league has been long, long, long. Okay, chat. Twitch hates me. What do you mean, cigarette? Kura! Yeah, I rolled the R's. Although my uh, way of rolling the R, it's a French way. My way of rolling the R is a French way. It's not the Italian way. It's funny, because this trip I was with a friend of mine from England, and sometimes I would like try to teach him Italian words, and he would re repeat them with the French R. And I was like, wait, actually, that's not, that's not the proper way. Yeah. 
Okay. Last round with this deck. We got the Giganta Mirror to finish things off. The Giganta Mirror. Mirror. Opponent decided to take a minute. Because why should we start right away? Hello? Ponente? Buongiorno, buongiorno. Oh, cavaca. Alright. Round number five. On the draw. We both got our companion. Our useless companion. Ooh, that does mine. This is gonna be fast. This is going to be fast. I want to say this matchup doesn't look particularly good. I was, I was supposed to fetch first. Alright. Mistake number one arrived. Opponent after a detailed wait decided that uh, I hand with Relic plus Simon's Crying was good enough. I respect your choice. I would have also kept it against the deck with Overchase Daredevil. Let's go Blood Crypt. Yes. Let's play Ledger Shredder. Let's discard this. Get a food, put it back. Yes. Crack the bomb. Sorry, play the bomb. Loot. This card, this, and then crack the bomb. No, sorry, you get this back and pass. Yes. This is exactly what I was thinking. But you know, we're doing our micro value, our opponent's gonna just play cards, so we're never gonna die. But that's we just made our micro value, so that's cool. That's all that matters, right? Ancient Steering, let's see. What's next on the docket, Mango? You mean what do I play next after this match? I'm gonna play Hero Wars. It's going to be a sponsored stream. That's gonna help your streamer, Papangu. Wow, they got another mine. That's not nice. Um, not gonna crack the bubble. I'm just taking my turn. I don't want you to. Whoa, Mox Ember. The worst. I can go Ledger Shredder. Mox Ember. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Knive. Discard Daredevil. Okay, you're what? Doing what? Warping Wailing that one. Is there a way for me to save it? There is not. Thank you, Eptagon. Hey, goodbye, Shredder. I will forever remember you. Alright, so loot. I'm gonna put this in the graveyard. Then I discard a card. And I will make a food and bring back the Daredevil. And then I will connive again. Uh, questo è mano. Like, I'm doing a lot of value. If this was a normal matchup, I would probably win, but it's not a normal matchup. A very unfair matchup. And this one goes back to hand. Yes. Now I can go Urza Sagra. Eh, I can cast what? Probably another cookbook. And I just attack for three and pass. Yep. 
Go. Mm, okay. So what I'm gonna do here is okay to this. Then I also want to make another food. Free. And pass. Go. 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 Go, parrot. It's your four turn. Don't card me, please. On your fourth turn. Nice. No! They drew power plant! They drew this for sure. Power cocatsu. No, they carned me. If I bet, uh, draw this card. All this card. Uh, this. And then I crack the bubble. And then it's your turn. What you? What did I flip? I flipped another pop land. All right. Karn is in, and now I can't activate my artifacts anymore. So Karn enters the battlefield, plus is one on my food token. Interesting. And now survives my Ledger Shredder attack. I draw a card off the bubble. All right, I drew very two very bad cards. Really very bad cards. Like, oh my god, they're so bad cards. I think I'm just uh, attacking Karn and passing. I just make a Saga token. So I want to cast one of these spells probably yeah i will cast one of these spells i get back to you chase their devil and pass So they could crack the relic. Alright, in response, I'm gonna make a construct and still return the Lord Chase Daredevil. Yeah, I remember when I was playing Oli Arena back in the days. I, and I would sometimes play Magic Online, I would get so tilted at the opponents just going AFK middle of the game and not get punished. I love the rope. I'm a big fan of the rope. I always play so fast and sloppy that uh, the rope is really, really good for me. Now I just, you know, I'm okay with my... With my 2002 software that has all the cards that I want, and I can play all the best formats. And I can buy cards, sell cards, this is why I like to play Magic. The Arena Collection is really what I like to play Magic for. Vabine, Vabine, Vabine. They play a power plant. Four cards. They can minus two card, but what can they get? There's not much they can get. Alright, they minus two card. What can they get here? Let's see. Oh, they can get the 710. They can get the 710. Oh, they got the Snaring Bridge. Can they beat the Snaring Bridge? I don't know if Can they beat the Snaring Bridge? No, I bet I can't beat this Aaron Bridge. I guess I can't.
Il ci dice che il esame è saga, va bene. Saga dead. I guess I can get to infinite turn and then I just kill my opponent with one threes. Yeah. Probably that's the way. Okay, uh, upkeep draw. Manufacture. Discard Daredevil. Always yes. Uh... Anything else? I can probably play Mishra's Bubble, Loot. Asmo. Can this deal damage to... No, it can't. Discard this anyway. Draw. Uh, get this back. What else do I do? Probably just play an Asmo. I'll play a cookbook. I'll discard this. Another cookbook. A crack bubble. What's your top card? It's a relic of progenitus. Hmm. Slightly annoying. Uh, now I have two treasures, good for nothing, so I'll just, uh, I'll just pass. I mean, reread this, but I don't think I'll go to damage a creature, you go. I, you know, would have won if they didn't have the bridge. But at the same time, if I, if I could need the last turn to not put Karn on one, they, I couldn't have the construct, so. All right, so opponent can have the relic, but relic does nothing. They have three. I have two treasure under my camera. You probably can see it. What does Karn do? They might just exile my manufacturer. I don't know. Let's cry, okay. I can go what blossy. The Snare Bridge is now stopping me from attacking, but if I draw time save, I get infinite turn, so I just sit up with Academy Manufacturers. They're dead, you think? Well, if they play Karn the Great Creator, I can't do much anymore. They play Relic, they play Blast Zone. They plus one. I might just draw, oh, I guess I'll give them bubble, right? Yeah. One has two cards in hand. So I can't attack with my 3-3. Three, three. Well, I guess if they crack the relic, I can attack with the 3-3 three, three as well. It's not bad. I have 36 cards, I'm only looking to draw my time seeds. 
No Tawara, unfortunately, because of splashing red. No Tawara. This is gonna be a long video. But I don't wanna give up. 0232. 0232 Dream. Okay, you cracked the relic main phase. Uh, Babine. You have three cards in the end once again. They pass. Cool, now I can attack with a 3 3 as well. Uh, Blast Zone on 1 kills only. Oh, I guess it kills all my Underworld Cookbook. Okay. Uh, do I want to draw a card here? Yes. Goodbye cookbooks. I got four of them and they're all dead. It's okay, I drew the emery to bite them back. I can sacrifice all the food, mm, but I mean, I have a lot more artifacts. I can't sacrifice all the clues. Okay, draw. Unearth. Mm. Let's begin with an emery. Two at a mill. I'm Seed is there. That's cool. Mm, anything else I need to play? Not really. Can play manufacture. Loot. Scar Daredevil. Buy back. Uh anything else? Not really. Let's simply attack the card. Back to three. We don't have a way to nuke the bridge, but we have one time seed in the deck that can give us infinite turns. And then we just attack with one threes. I honestly didn't think about Blast Zone. If I did, I would have kept one brick, one uh, one cookbook in my hand. I played all four of them because I didn't think my opponent would have ways to interact with them. I guess also Oblivion Stone. Yeah. All right. Also for Warping Whale, so they can exile my Emery. Yeah, I guess I lose now. Yeah, I could find more Emery's. Draw. Eh, eh, niente, chat. I have nothing going on here. I'll just draw a card off my clue. Emery, bella, bella pescata. Good draw. Let's set the card again. I mean, I can just easily exile Emery. Let's see what I mill. Okay. Can I cast this? I can't. Uh, I'm just drawing another card. Hmm. E, your turn. Oh, I just realized the mistake I made. When I put an exiled Emery, I was supposed to... Okay, it didn't matter, but I was supposed to kill it with Osmo, so I could unearth it back. Okay, I realize it now. I realize it now. That's okay. Too late! But not too late, because it ended up not mattering. It ended up not mattering because I just drew another one, but I mean, of course I should have done it. Okay, so they want to exile my Emery. I'm going to kill myself. So that it goes to Graveyard. And Karn Fizzles. 
I think my opponent must have at least two lands in hand, because they didn't do anything last turn. I guess I can put Gigantha into play. Yeah, they do. Okay, cool. If I untap with Emery, I win the game. Because first Emery flashes back Time Sieve, second Emery flashes back Cookbook. Although maybe they have a 5-5. Five five. How do I beat a 5-5? Five five? Hmm. No, I guess Ledger Shredder flies. Okay, then. It's important that they don't empty their hand. If they empty their hand, they'll lose. Expedition not. Okay. I think Urza Saga does nothing, so I'll just discard that one. I mean, it's a land, but... I like I can name manufacture more. Brinko Engine? Yeah. I have the Aether Spell Bomb, so it's alright. Or the Giganta. As long as I get Infinite Turn, it's... I even have Asthma. What am I talking about? Alright, on top draw. Sorry, I mean, it's not an easy game, plus it's so slow. I, I mean, uh, try to do my best. Hello, let's go. Em uh, cast uh, an Earth on Emery. Emery mills four. I, mean, I guess I don't have infinite turns. I have a limited amount of turns. But that should be enough. Um, hello, let's kill the Gigantha. Let's attack Karn to death. Pretty cool that I managed to kill my Karn with 1-3 beatdowns. And then I just play Manufacture and pass. Oh, I guess I have to loot as well. Time Sieve? Nice! I called it! I called the Time Sieve and it responded. Well, now we can try to win. Let's play the Time Sieve. Let's get an extra turn. Sacrifice this. This, 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 this. Now, untap. Draw. Emery flashes back Underworld Cookbook. And then it just attack for three every turn with like a name manufacturers. Nice. That was a good game. So we had infinite turns now. That was a good game. I had 14 cards left in my deck, so I had 14 turns. That would be enough. Okay, we beat Tron in a super long game one. Eh, oh, yeah. I'll have Dumping Sphere again. I'll have uh, I mean, Shenanigans maybe, Void Mirror. Thoughtseize, put the needle, take out the heal spell bees, mox amber, uh, what else? An earth? An earth seems pretty bad. Goblin engineer seems pretty bad. Yeah, let's go. Ether grid? Nah. I have the shenanigans now to beat uh, the bridge. Oof. I guess the Ether Grid helps me against Karn. Mm, yeah, I should have brought in the Ether Grid. It's for Karn. What's the timer looking like? 11 to 12. Okay. My opponent conceded, but they could have just made me waste at least two minutes. You want to see the deck? Please do exclamation mark deck. Should be on the screen. It should be on the screen. 
Yeah. The deck list should be on the screen with Stream Decker. Then I play Mam Devil. Oh, come on. Sorry, Aptagon. This is not Aspiring Spike stream. We don't play Mam Devil. Later today, you have the option to do so, though. Allora, let's begin by bubbling myself. Urza Sagra, I don't like it. Let's shuffle that away. For a cookbook. Go. Hello, Cidelio. Yeah, yeah, if you just tuned in, this is, um... The food deck, we started, we started pretty weak, but uh, we rallied back. Mango, would you have made your opponent use two minutes to kill you? Uh, yeah, probably I would, yeah. I mean, opponent's already playing so slow that I'm pretty happy to punish them for playing so slow. Like, I went to bathroom mid-game. I don't really do that unless my opponent literally does not click any button. Okay, so they have Tron next turn. Unless I draw... Unless I draw... Shenanigans. Shenanigans for Mangu? No. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Ma perché ho fatto Isola, porca merda? Why did I play Island? Pepangu. Pepangu, why did you play turn one island? Island, ma sarà possibile che ho fatto island? Go! Okay. They got Urza's power plant. Wait, Urza's power plant? Did I misclick? Yes, they misclicked! Ed's <laughs> clap for Pepengu, and they concede! Yes! Sayonara, Tron! Always a pleasure to play against you. Ah, uh, you love to see the WTF misclick. What a delight. What a delight. All right, we achieved the legendary 0232, proving that this deck is playable. Thank you for watching this modern video.